Vikram, I wanted to ask you about the contracting model. It's, it's, I don't even know the term. It's IPD. So I wanted you to walk us through that. Yeah, so you go. the IPD is not a new concept by any definition. So IPD really stands for Integrated Project Development. And what does that actually mean, right? So typically, if you look at the, the more conventional ways of how companies like DRA would engage with a mining company or other contractors for that matter, it would be typically an EPCM. Uh, contracting model, or it could be an EPC in worst case scenarios. But in other instances, you would have a client that would say, look, DRA, please engineer, give us all the drawings, and then we'll take that and we'll self-perform and self-construct. So these are sort of the the typical, what I would call as conventional contracting models. Now, you would have heard this in this conference over and over about, again, which is we don't have enough people. We don't have enough resources that have those expertise that can mobilize to different places where projects are being built, especially when we're trying to compete with other large projects that are being built for things like, you know, the as an example, Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing that's happening in, in Arizona. All the top talent is basically building the, you know, $17 billion TSMC facility, there's not a whole lot of people available to go build mines. Right. So when you're competing for resources, uh, the natural extension to the thinking is, okay, so let's not worry about the hats, let's just worry about the heads, which is where you bring people from different organizations, from the client organization, from the contractors, from the engineers. You put everybody into one project team. You take away the association to, this is my company, this is what I'm going to do, You set up the contracts where you incentivize to think for the project and only for the project, right? Where everybody is measured with the same yardstick and the KPIs are safety, budget, schedule, productivity, and making good decisions for the project. So it doesn't have to be, there's no EPCM hat, there's no client hat, there's no contractor hat. Everybody's sitting there rowing in one direction and you pull the best resources possible for that project. And that's what IPD is. So the project that we're busy doing in, in Mineral Park right now, that's based on IPD. Hopefully next year for part four, we can, you know, when, we're, when you're saying bring a client. Bring someone on, yeah. That's I'd, be, right. I'd be fascinated to actually so hear that. So that would be a, side, yeah. a good testament to the, the fact that IPD can work when you structure it right, when you incentivize people right, and when you set up the cultures and values of that team right on at at get-go, right? And that's what we're seeing more and more as we go forward in the industry now.